Here at Wheelworks, the DT Swiss 350 is one of our best selling hubs and for really good reason. They're super reliable performers which just work for a wide range of uses. And simply put, they just work. For 2022, DT Swiss has improved the 350, making it lighter, faster engaging and better looking. If you're a complete geek like me who loves to nerd out on hubs and wheels, then stick around as we deep dive into both the 2021 and 2022 versions of these hubs, pull them completely apart and take a close look at what's changed. So let's jump into the details of these hubs and see where the differences are. And we'll start with the visual appearance and the hub shells. For the 2021 hubs, there are a uh, gloss finish and it's a painted finish which can chip over time. The 2022 hubs are anodized, which is really nice. This should be a little bit more durable. And they've got this really cool matte black look, which is absolutely awesome. The 2021 stickers are removable. These will peel off. The 2022 stickers are a water slide, and these are not going anywhere. They are permanently attached to the hub. We've tried overwrapping them and doing a few things, and it doesn't work. They are a permanent addition to the hub. The 2022 hubs also have these little windows in the hub shell. This is extra machining time. It does save quite a bit of weight, but it's quite curious to see that DT Swiss have put this on the 350 because previously that was something that was only on the 240 as a way of saving weight on the 240. So it's really cool to see that trickling down to the 350. The hub weights here for the shells really surprised me. For the front hub, we've got a reduction in 14.2 grams between the, the 2021 and 2022 versions. And for the rear hub shells, we've got a reduction in six grams. I mean, that's a total of 20 grams saved just through the hub shells alone. That's pretty incredible. Rear hub axles and end caps. This actually came as a big surprise to me that they've made a significant axle improvement and sort of hidden it away and they haven't done a lot of talking about it. So it's really cool to see that. If you've worked on the 350 hubs, you'll be really familiar with the old axles. They're a constant diameter. And the old end caps, again, constant diameter, and they can be really tricky to pull off the hubs with your fingers. For 2022, we've got these new lightened axles, and you can see the extra machining time that's gone into the middle here. This comes at a significant cost to DT Swiss, so it is interesting to see that they've done this. It's a similar axle to the 240, and it has a massive weight reduction of 9.2 grams, which is pretty significant. The rear axle end caps have also been improved. Rather than constant diameter, they've got these little notches cut out of them, which means it's a little bit easier to get your fingers on them or get a, a tool on there and pull them off of the hub. That is one of the shortcomings of the 350 hub with the through axle end caps. They are difficult to remove, and I think this will make a significant improvement. There is a weight saving here, but it's only 0.1 grams, so it's nothing to significant. Overall, awesome to see that these upgrades have been hidden away inside the hub, but they do come at a massive weight saving. Front hub, axles, and end caps. Much like the rear hub, there's been small changes here, but nothing significant. The end caps have gone from the constant diameter 2021 versions to having a similar notch to the rear ones on the 2022. That will make it a little bit easier to pull them off. Both of them still use that kind of rather silly little cut, uh, system where the little cover thing presses on. It kind of works, but honestly, it's a bit frustrating. And it's a really good thing that the DT Swiss bearings last so long because they are one of the more difficult front hubs to service the bearing on because of these little dust shields. One thing that I initially was quite surprised about is I thought that the two preload spaces were identical. And although they are interchangeable in terms of the overall length, they've moved the O-rings from the center, more central position, to right on the very outside for the 2022. Now, just a reminder, I mean, this is just a preload space where it stops the bearings being compressed when your through axle goes through. And these O-rings do nothing except locate this spacer in the middle, making it a little bit easier for the axle to go through. They're not seals. They don't sort of have any, um, any purpose in the hub other than to make it easier to put the through axle in. So someone's obviously thought that it's going to make sense to, um, to move those O-rings from the inside to the outside. I've never had a problem with the inside ones. It's going to be interesting to see if this makes things any better or, or possibly any worse. Both the front and rear 2022 hubs use the exact same bearing sizes as the 2021 hubs, and all four bearings in the hub shells are identical. So that means that the front hub bearings and the rear shell bearings are both that really common 50 millimeter internal, 28 millimeter external, seven millimeter thick bearing. That's a 6902. They all seem to be a really high quality steel bearing, and there's no change between the 2021 and 2022 hubs in this regard. The free hub bodies do use different size bearings and that will vary depending on what free hub body model it is.
free hub bodies. I can't tell any difference between the 2021 and 2022 free hub bodies. They're both gloss in surface finish, and of course, both of them come in the Shimano HG 10 speed, Shimano HG 11 speed, SRAM XD, SRAM XDR, Campagnolo, Campagnolo N3W, and Shimano Microsplines. There's plenty of options for both free hub bodies for both hubs. They're completely interchangeable, and they're also interchangeable with the rest of the DT Swiss uh, EXP uh, ratchet system hubs. No change in the free hub body. Ratchet rings. The DT Swiss hubs are renowned for their amazing star ratchet system. And in this regard, we've gone from an 18 tooth ratchet ring across all of the 2021 hubs to a combination of either 18 or 36 tooth ratchet rings, depending on the hub variant for the 2022s. That means that all the road oriented hubs, the 142 mil OLDs, they all come with an 18 tooth. And for 2022, all of the mountain bike versions, that's all of the boost stuff, they all come with the 36 tooth. The SL ratchet rings are also a little bit lighter. They save a total of 8.8 .8 grams on the hub weight. And one thing that I don't hear people talking about with these SLs is that the little internal area that's machined out actually accumulates a lot of grease. And that grease pulls in any sort of grit and grime and little bits of gravel that get into the hub and they keep it away from the rest of the hub as, so as not to damage the internals of the hub shell. That's one really cool thing about the SL ratchet kits. It doesn't get a lot of talking, but it does make a big difference on the hub longevity. Awesome stuff, DT. Stoked to see this as an upgrade. Ratchet sound will have changed from the 18 tooth to the 36 tooth ratchet rings. Turn up your volume and have a listen. Here are the two noises. Hub internals. There are no visual changes from the 2021 to the 2022 hub internals. They both use a steel threaded ratchet ring. Some of the old timers may remember that the early 240 hubs came with an aluminum version of these that tended to wear out. So it is nice to see the steel one being used across both of the new 2022 and 2021 versions. Other than that, this system works exceptionally well. It goes on forever with very little maintenance. So you can see how they haven't made any changes to that. Cool. Spoke types and variants. One thing that DT Swiss have done extremely well is having a huge range of different options for the hubs to fit any available bike and pretty much any use case. We've got in both the 2021 and 2022 versions, rear hubs that are in 130, 135, 142, 148 boost and 157 super boost. We've got straight pull and j bend spoke. And of course we've got every free hub body available under the sun. These hubs are pretty modular as well. So you can kind of mix and match to get what you need out of those. If DT Swiss don't sell the specific version that you're looking for. Lighter, better looking and faster engage. The 350 is the working man's hero and it didn't need to be improved, but we're not gonna say no to some nice upgrades. So here's the whole comparison table showing all of the differences between the 2021 and 2022 versions. Feel free to pause on this or check the link in the description. Is there anything we didn't cover about the new hubs that you'd like to know? Ask away. Want to see more content like this? Like this video and subscribe to our channel.